When Cody met Edison in Paris in 1889, Edison was high because he had just uh, perfected, if you will, the phonograph. And in fact, he played, um, after he recorded some of the show's Indians, he played the sound back for them, which amazed everybody. Um, and he also was just about getting ready to put pictures on film strip. And so this sort of, sort of sparked Cody's interest in the topic. And then when they met again in 1893 at the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago, uh, Edison was there to show off the kinetoscope, which actually showed pictures on little strips of film. So uh, Cody was involved, in a way, in Edison's first start of motion pictures. When Edison first invented the kinetoscope, enterprising businessmen bought the kinetoscope machines, which was just basically a box that one person at a time could look into and see the film strip. These businessmen would buy maybe 10 of the kinetoscopes, set them up in a storefront, and people could come in and look at the film in each of the 10 machines. Once they came through, and saw them one time, or maybe four times, or maybe 11 times, they needed to see more and different films. So there was a constant need for more films. So Edison would invite to his studio uh, dancers, or acrobats, or pantomimists, or um, acrobats, anybody who would come and perform before the camera for nothing more than a, quote, sumptuous dinner. And then, when Edison had perfected a smaller camera that was more portable, he was able to take it to the venue itself, like Buffalo Bill's Wild West, or to parades, or to speeches given by significant people. 